Warning, the following video may contain strong language, violence, and very mature themes. Parental and personal discretion is advised, especially if you are underage. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. <laughs> How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You sock it right in the mouth. It has a mouth? What I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger. Almost exactly. I can do that. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh, yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. <laughs> Fine. He's my second first real friend. I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. 
Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Oh, boy. Trying to. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have. There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! No! There are too many of them! The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. <sighs> you didn't even try to spare them. I tried, don't give me that crap. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. I guess he wanted me to, like, run past them. What I was trying to do is I was trying to stun them and just keep stun-locking them, but apparently that was not good enough. It's safe. Just a little further. this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. 
Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the same thing she said, like, in the, uh, season one. <laughs> I love that. Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Okay. Let's see if we can find any collectibles while we're walking around. Beat Nick. Disco Broccoli! Also Beatnik. <laughs> hmm. Must have had electricity here once. Yeah, I'm guessing we can't get further out. everything okay what's up Jamesy boy my people my former people they had a practice they called it collecting them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. 
The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace any different at all i i think you might be right about there being something more to them it was kind of nice in there Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive, not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I 
I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. You said there might be people inside Walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. That sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I have to say, like, of all the, like... Of all the uh, arguments to say, like, you know, don't kill walkers because there are still people inside them. Like, that was a really beautiful scene. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay. I'll get the heater. Anyway, to finish up my thoughts, because, uh, yeah, I kind of cut back earlier than I thought it would. Like, I'm definitely someone who's kind of in the mindset where walkers, they are kind of too dangerous now to, like, leave alive, because I just don't think there is going to be a cure. So, you know, I'm kind of under the belief that once someone does become a walker they should be put down because you know otherwise they could be dangerous to other people who are still alive but i gotta say that scene was actually like really powerful like it was a it was a really beautiful scene and like honestly of all the arguments that could be for saving walkers or preserving them like, I don't know, that was a pretty strong case. I still don't believe in it, necessarily, but... I don't know, It's it was definitely a, uh, a beautiful scene, as I said. How do you play with it? You draw pictures, like this. <laughs> cool.
You know what? Sure. Uh, draw from memory. Oh, you did not do that that quickly. <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Oh, God. Okay. That's the heater, so we don't want that. I have another thing, I think. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, AJ. I got something else, didn't I? Can I put, like, the flag up or... I got something else. Oh, maybe there. School pride. Go Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. I see. I'm gonna show him the tin later. Yeah, you do that. Uh, anything else I can interact with? Let's talk to AJ. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. I do not believe she just put that in her pocket, but whatever. <laughs> hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people's eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck. Like, big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. 
You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit, and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily, I'm... I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I... have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so <laughs> stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis, Omar, Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. A Clementine? Really? It's like a name badge. It'll look good on your jacket. Wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay.
That actually looks really good, too. That's a really good piece of art. <laughs> 